How do you change a decimal into a fraction, and how do you change a decimal into a percent? Well, a lot of times in your work, your decimal numbers will already be written out to the hundredths place, the tenths or the hundredths place. Now, if they go beyond that, that's no problem. You can always put it, um, you can always work with further places. But for today's purposes, we're going to talk about the hundredths place, out to the hundredths place. Here we have the decimal 0 0.65. And we also would read this decimal number as 65 hundredths. Now if you think about the words 65 hundredths, imagine that as a fraction. If I told you to write the fraction 65 hundredths, you would know what to write because 65 hundredths looks like 65 over 100. And this is a correct fraction for this decimal. It could also be reduced. Now, if you look at your decimal and Think about the place value for these places. This first place is the tenths place. If I want to write a decimal, let's say I have the decimal um, just 0 0.6, it only goes out to the tenths place. This decimal number is 6 tenths. Well, I can think about what that fraction looks like. It looks like the fraction 6 tenths. And every decimal number can be written like that. If you just think about the place value that the decimal goes out to, and then think about what those words mean as a fraction. Now, we can take a fraction over 100 and write it as a percent super easily. Because remember, percent means per 100. Well, decimal numbers are the same way. If we have a decimal that goes out to the hundredths place, we can easily write it as a percent because it's hundredths per hundred or per cent. So this would be 65 percent. Those are easy when it's over 100. Now the ones you have to watch out for is when it's not over 100. For example, six tenths. You have to think about what would this look like to the hundredths place. Okay, if I filled in that zero there, now I have a decimal to the hundredths place. My tenths and my hundredths place together make the percent. So six tenths is equal to 60 percent. Watch out for these really tricky ones. Um, let's say your decimal is 0 0.05, okay? This percent is 5%, okay? There's a zero in the tenths place and a five in the hundredths. Zero five would be 5%. Okay, watch out for those. A lot of students mix those up and accidentally put 50%. Okay, so just keep your eye out for those tricky ones.